Nigeria won't leave this area. Uh, your, fifth, your 15th win in 25 matches for Nigeria's coach. How many losses? Only six. six. No. Yeah, four draws. So, uh, fair enough. How do you uh, evaluate this game? It's a huge, huge relief for me uh, and the boys, obviously. Um, three points was important to get. We got it. I expected us to score more goals, uh, but uh, for some reason we didn't find the back of the net early enough because of uh, the tactics the Libyans deployed. But overall, we're very happy. Three points, very important. We still maintain the first position in the log. Congratulations to you all. Thank you. Front. Quickly go straight to the uh, coach. coach. Your yeah. opponent uh, has had two shots today. Both of them were one in the first and one in the second. And they decided to have a lot of chances. How did it feel going to uh, the, towards the end of the game and uh, not scoring that goal? Uh, I was feeling bad, but again, I was also happy that the boys were on top of the game, especially second half and towards the last 20 minutes of the game. They kept pushing, possessing the ball very well, but mindful of the Rea as well, because the Libyans, they had a clear strategy the way they wanted to play, to try to get the ball and then go for as quickly as possible. Both emotions were high, and when the goal came, it was a huge, huge relief. I thought we could have scored more. But the tactics that they deployed, that I don't want to use the word pack with the boss, like many coaches to say, but they defended in numbers in front of their goals. Thank you, uh, Modo. Then we we'll go to Fisco. Modo Mutero Media. Coach, come out on the team. A lot of field observers observed that we played this game at times very pedestrian, lacking the pressure in forward position. Is this something that can be addressed ahead of the, the return leg in the game? We were a bit slow in the first half, you can attest to that. I just said that in, you know, uh, when I was answering the, uh, the question before yours now. Um, second half, we picked up. The bus circulation became become a bit faster because that was the instruction. Because if you're attacking from one side and it's closed, when you now make changes to go to the other direction, it starts to be a bit quick. And that's what they did in the last 25 minutes. Congrats. My name is Sister Dairo. Before the game, or perhaps when we saw the lineup, you seem to take a lot of Nigerians by surprise because um, after the field experiment, after the afternoon, you went back to the back three formation and today you went to the 4 2 3 1. Did you have this premonition that the Libyans will come to have the boss like you put it? Or was it you trying? another formation that will accommodate more attack by the players? Yes, because um, last two games we will see when we play back three and then four across the middle field, um, we always lose numbers in the middle of the field because one midfielder goes high up and you have only the or Onyeka Onyeka there. So there was a lot of space behind us. So. With the back four, we have more numbers in the middle field, so we can possess the ball. That was the game plan. Janet, I represent the Coach, congratulations. Thank you, sir. Bele Bashiru has been consistent for the Spirit State. Do you think he has done enough to start the return leg? I don't know if he's going to start the return leg. First of all, we have to see how they react to the physios, medical team today. Everybody in that team, the 23, are capable of starting. Congrats on the win, Coach. My name is Casey Thank you, sir. Abako, Abrila Media. Um, Coach, I noticed that the Libyan goalkeeper went down a lot of times, yeah. and it's what is described in modern football as dark arts. Did you think that um, the Libyans were trying to use the delaying tactics to get the game off the line? I should think so, because um, we have a timekeeper also, in the name of Thomas and um, Bobo Richel. Actually, they wasted like 14, 15 minutes out of the 45 minutes, which is not so good, you know. They are a good side. You can see that they can move the ball if they wanted to move the ball. But now trying to um, bring in soft strategies, I don't think it's, it's a good thing. Huh? They should just play normally. You see, when we scored the goal, late goal, they, they came out. So such things normally, and maybe they over-respected us, you know. They, they thought probably if they come out initial stage, you know, they're going to get a lot of goals behind them. I don't know if that's the way they, uh, they want to play. Yeah.
Papua Nine Fly for one of them. Congratulations on your win. Thank Sorry you, sir. To back to this, but yesterday you assured every Nigerian that today Victor Boniface would score. Yes. But he didn't, and I think I would love to ask you the question. What do you think was the challenge for the fire? You know, uh, Boniface is a clinical striker, clinical finisher. But they are struggling with the national colors. You see, sometimes these chances don't don't come. I remember in Rwanda today also, when you get half chance, look like likes like Romario, they to poke the ball, but he wants to dress and dress and dress, and then the defenders recover. So if he decides on time, I think Boniface will score a lot of goals. I'll speak to him about that. Uh, we have now uh, William Mr. Kong, the captain of uh, the Victorious uh, Super Eagles, Nigeria. And uh, any questions for him? Uh, maybe I'll go first and ask uh, William. How uh, does he feel seven points in three games? Do you think he's uh, done or dusted? Uh, no, it's, it's never done to the fat lady sings, I think they say. Um, but yeah, no, it's, uh, it's a good start for us. I think we knew how important this first game was, especially when you play double header. Uh, we know that Libya came here, I think, to try and get a point. And um, yeah, they really played very defensively. And I think it would have been in their favour if they would have got that point for us uh, to play. Um, but yeah, like I said before, for us, I think uh, the pressure is a privilege. Uh, we're a team that should be winning almost all the games, especially when we play here at home. And I think today uh, we saw, even if it has to be uh, ugly and it took a long time, in the end uh, we got what we needed to do. And uh, yeah, three points very important for us. Thank you. Any questions for William? Yes, quickly, quickly, quickly. Yes, yes. William. Yes. Yeah, yeah, we'll William, congrats on the win. Um, three, uh, the 1 0 win today's game. We are going to be facing Libya in the second game away from home. What kind of headspace would you say the players should be in considering uh, they came into this game and uh, not expecting the kind of practical display we expected we saw from the Libyans? I think we, we did expect it to a certain extent. I think we knew we would be uh, superior today, uh, but we had to make the game. And uh, yeah, it's like a big puzzle trying to solve the problem, how we can get the chances. Um, and now the experience from this first game should prepare us better for the second game. Uh, I think it will be something similar. It'll probably be more difficult because we won't have our lovely fans here with us uh, cheering us on. So it's going to be very hostile there. Um, I presume the referee will be uh, difficult. The crowd will be difficult. Uh, they'll try and make it as hard as they can for us. Um, but yeah, we'll be ready. And I think we will learn from, uh, from the mistakes you made today. And like the coach said, we just need to be a little bit more clinical. And I think try to convert even half chances. Uh, to goals. And I think if you would have managed to score the first half, I had one or two uh, chances as well. Um, then I think the game would have opened up. But uh, yeah, we'll try and focus on that for the next game. Thank you. You and you. Okay. Um, my name is Mary Vincent. No okay. uh, my name is Mary Vincent. Um, my question for you goes like this. With the knowledge that um, the victory in the second leg, you know, puts us through and to the African Cup of Nations itself, does it bring any added pressure, you know, going into that game in a hostile country such as Libya? Does it add any pressure to you guys, the players, or to the knowledge that the victory is really important in the next game? Uh, yeah, I mean, playing for Nigeria is always uh, pressure. Uh, you have to embrace that. There's uh, a lot of expectation, a lot of expectation from ourselves as well. Uh, yeah, we want to be at the, the AFCON. I think we said that on match day one when we sat here as well to speak to you guys. So we know what's at stake. Um, but yeah, it's in our hands now. Um, we have to focus. Concentrate. It's not going to be given to us. And Libya will be fighting as well for their chance. So uh, it's going to be difficult, but we all know that we want to go there and, uh, and seal our ticket for the, for the AFCON. Um, but like football, you can't guarantee anything, but we can only guarantee that we do our best for that. I choose uh, no for today's game. That will be final uh, question. Looking at the history, we all agree, especially the coach has agreed as well, that uh, the first half was really uh, not pushing for the Super Eagles players. As the players on the pitch, is it that uh, you moderated, uh, the Nigerian players moderated their opponents, uh, the Eagles, vis a vis Kupi uh, and other players play for big names outside, as we don't really know where this Libya is played. Do the players moderate their colleagues from Libya? Um, I don't think I really disagree. Uh, agree with you because I think uh, the first half we were we pinned them in their half. Uh, we had the, a lot of possession. It was just trying to break down the block. I think when the team sets up with maybe uh, eight defenders on the edge of their box, I think the second half they put maybe two more central defenders on there. It's difficult to break that down. So uh, we never look at the names. We never look at uh, when we're here. We all uh, representing Nigeria. It doesn't matter which club you play for. And the same for the Libyan players. Uh, they're trying to show their best playing against Nigeria, of course. 
So, um, yeah, I think that's the beauty of African football. And we never underrate someone. And I think we also have to give credit to Libya for defending the way they did. It wasn't uh, pretty, but uh, it managed to keep us out for a long time. Um, and like I said, we'll go back and uh, improve and hopefully we can score earlier. Uh, but I think from the first half, the only takeaway that we had was uh, that we had to finish our chances. So, um, yeah, uh, besides that, I think we, the, the game plan was good. Uh, we were a little bit more attacking today than we normally are. Extra midfielder, tried to control the game. And I think we did that exactly like the coach wanted. So, uh, uh, yeah, I think all in all, we have to be uh, happy and take the positives. Sure. And uh, also, uh, yeah, I think... Um, Kudos to the coach for uh, for putting the team together the way we did today. Uh, of course, all of us would have liked to see a lot more goals. That's what everyone comes to the stadium for. But a uh, win is a win, and I'll take the three points. Thank you very much. We appreciate you. And uh, please.